WOWT 6 News continues to follow developments with an altercation in Glenwood, Iowa. It involved the high school principal, his stepson, and six people outside the principal's house. One of the six was wounded. The principal and his stepson were injured in a fight. And while possible charges are being investigated, our Brandon Scott learned that others could be charged in the wake of all this. John and Mallory tonight, Glenwood is a town on edge. Just a few hours ago, we learned several threatening messages have been posted on Facebook by people connected to the individuals in this case. Several of those people calling for vigilante justice. Earlier, we spoke with the Mills County attorney who told us officials are taking these threats very seriously. You get lots of uh, reaction from the community or those who know these parties that were involved um, and, you know, wanting to take it into their own hands or, um, you know, this vigilante justice idea. And to us, that's not going to be tolerated, both to um, law enforcement and the county attorney's office. We are prepared to and moving forward with prosecution of any um, actual threats or, um, or violent acts that occur out of out of this event. As for one of the central figures and victims in this altercation, Glenwood High School principal Richard Hutchinson, the Glenwood School District released a statement updating his condition, saying principal Hutchinson has been released from the hospital and is resting at home. He is in a great frame of mind and his spirits are strong. We hope to have him back at school as soon as possible. Now, all of this comes during homecoming week here in Glenwood, with thousands of people expected to pour into town for a parade and football game on Friday. Despite this entire ordeal, both of those events are proceeding as scheduled. Reporting in Glenwood with photographer M.H. Danker, I'm Brandon Scott, WWT 6 News.